Hey everyone, coming at you from Chu Sha Cho in the city of greenery, poetry, and water. And it's kind of a rainy, quiet day today. The perfect day for making some banana sauce. Banana sauce? Oh yeah. That's right. Let's make some banana sauce. Come on. Okay, here you can see everything you need to make banana sauce. In today's video, I'm going to use a little bit of fresh grated ginger to give it an extra kick. First, we're going to make banana milk. So take out your mixer and bananas. Be sure to use nice ripe bananas. You can see the brown on the peels of the bananas and that means that they're nice and sweet. As a general rule, you can remember the browner the banana, the sweeter the sauce. The browner the banana, the sweeter the sauce. So peel your bananas, drop them in the mixer, and then put in 200 milliliters of milk. Don't forget to put the cap on. Then mix for at least 30 seconds. I would recommend mixing from 45 seconds to one minute to get a nice smooth banana juice with no chunks. Next, you take off the blender cup. Be careful not to push the button when the lid is off. Second, strain the banana juice into a bowl and lightly place some plastic wrap on top. Third, take out another bowl and put in your two egg yolks. And then on top of that, your sugar. Today, I used 50 grams, but you can make it less sweet or more sweet, depending on your taste. Mix it well until you have a nice bright yellow paste. Look at that, so pretty. Next, sift your two tablespoons of flour into your sugar and egg yolk mixture. Now is a good time to microwave your banana milk at 600 watts for one minute. And mixy, 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 mixy. Okay, our banana milk has been warmed, so we're going to add it to our egg, sugar, and flour mixture. Be sure to save the plastic wrap because we'll use it later. Put in just a little bit to start because we don't want to cook the eggs. And mixy, mixy, mixy. Then we can add the remaining banana juice. And a mixy, mixy, mixy. Now it's time for the ginger. If you use ginger, I recommend that you put it in before you cook this mixture. Of course, we put ginger in for extra kick, but if you don't cook it, it can be pretty spicy. So cooking it can help it mellow. Fourth, we're going to head over to the stove and strain our mixture into a saucepan. Mix it with a wooden spatula on medium heat until it starts to get a little thick. After about one minute, lower the heat and slowly mix again until it becomes thicker still. This might take three to five minutes, but don't stop mixing or it will burn. And we don't want burned banana sauce. Fifth, pour the warm mixture into another bowl and lightly cover it with the plastic wrap we saved from before. Put it into the refrigerator to chill for at least 30 minutes. After it's been thoroughly chilled, take it out of the refrigerator, remove the wrap, and pour in the remaining milk. Finally, add the vanilla and any other spices you want to put in to make it a super special banana sauce. In this video, I used fresh ginger and cardamom. 
but you could use a number of other spices that might be delicious for you. For example, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, some extra honey. Those are just a few that you might want to try. Banana sauce can be saved in the refrigerator for up to five days. However, I would recommend pouring it directly onto the dessert of your choice for immediate consumption. Some recommendations might be in yogurt or ice cream, on chocolate cake. It's also delicious on pancakes and waffles. Or if you prefer a traditional Japanese snack, you can put it on dango as well. Thanks very much for watching everyone. Please share your adventures in banana sauce in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Mr. Douglas reminding you to try everything.